guys, it's Diana and today I'm back with an ever-awaited island tour. I miss these videos so much. I used to love getting into the nitty-gritty of islands and exploring them with you all. So if you didn't know, I currently have one island, Bizu, that is inspired by spring core and meadows. And I feel like this island in particular is going to help me get some inspiration for my own island. So yeah, I thought this would be really fun for us to explore together. But if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I upload. I'm actually going to start making speed builds for my second island that I'm just going to start very soon. So stay tuned for that. Sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea, and let's explore this beautiful spring core island. So the first thing I see as we wake up in this beautiful island is that we're surrounded by a bunch of cliffs. And wow, I love, love, love this flag. It's so beautiful and it looks like it's perfect for the spring core theme. And we've got a couple of different items. So we've got a yellow balloon, green balloon, ladder, bubble blowers, and an ocarina. All right, I did see that they have some codes here, so I'm gonna check it out really fast before I get into it. These are the codes they have. They're very spring core themed, very colorful. They have this gorgeous garland camper that I'm so tempted to download. And then they also have a painted camper. So we've made our way to the front of the island to get the full Cupid Isle experience. Let's look at their map. Oh my god, this terraforming is delectable. They have Kiki, Silvana, Joey, Goldie, Marty, Pearl, Lolly, Stitches, Kabuki, and Bunny. Very solid dreamies. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. The first thing I see is just this stunning waterscaping, this bridge. I love that the entrance is actually kind of slightly cut off by the river here. I've never seen anything like that, but I'm obsessed. They have so many plants and it's all clustered in this little corner here. Gotta say, this definitely has to be one of my absolute favorite bridge entrances that I've ever seen. It's so delicately made and so well thought out. It's also a little bike here. I have a feeling this island's gonna feel really big because of all of the windy paths and all of the different entrances, but we're gonna start with this area right here on the right side. I love their usage of all the mush furniture. The Mario platform mushrooms are so great mixed in with the mush parasol. Little windy paths back here. This little tent area here also leads into somebody's backyard, so I'm gonna go around and follow the path. All the things dropped on the floor, the acorn, more mushrooms. This is stunning. And then we have here our very first villager of the island. Don't know who this is. I think it's Goldie, maybe. And they have this little tire seat right here. That is so lovely. I actually love the way the tires look placed against a more natural island because it looks kind of like it's been repurposed in a way. Garden wagon, mush parasol, clothesline, the little kid's tent back there. That is so beautiful. And it's topped off with this little quaint garden. I love this coat that they use here. I'm actually using it myself. That with the hand cart is just so beautiful. They've also got a little hidden picnic here on the side. I love that. Pretty sure they have picnics everywhere on this island too, so that's a really nice way of filling up the space. And again, a little windy path here. This is incredible. I honestly don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> and we're just getting started. One of my biggest inspirations from this island is actually this, <laughs> this wild log bench next to a cut down tree stump because it kind of looks like the tree's fallen down and now you can use it as a seat. I am honestly just in awe with all of this plant life and all the landscaping. It just feels very overgrown. I love the color palette that they're using with the yellows, the whites, the greens. It's definitely a very prevalent theme across Spring Corps Islands. Again, little futon next to a kid's tent. Just another tiny detail in this beautiful island. Some music softly playing in the background. Then over here, there's like a little hidden incline that leads you to another neighbor's house. <laughs> oh, actually two neighbor's houses. Bunny's house. Oh, that's so cute. 
but he's definitely a really great spring core villager. And then Lolly's house right next to that. So nice. I love this little stream that's dividing both of their houses. And again, another bicycle just kind of placed there as if Bunny just popped it in front of her house after a nice little bike ride on the island. The beach is packed with flowers, but I'm actually not too sure that they decorated this area yet. So we're gonna walk around. Oh my gosh, I, this is a stunning way of accenting a little cliff path that you have laying around your island that's kind of missing something. I am obsessed with the tunnels and the arches that are made with these bricks. Incredible. I also really like the fact that they've placed some butterflies and lamps on top of that. Just beautiful. They've also got the most lovely rock garden here. No rhyme or reason, just kind of placed around this little path here. Over here on the side, more gardens. Got this fencing here, so nice. I also love the way they've placed these um, coconut trees here. Just fills up the space nicely. There's a little Sanrio cafe. It's so pretty. Makes great use out of all the new Sanrio furniture that we just recently got. Wow. I love this floor seating too. I feel like one of the things I struggle the most with when I decorate is remembering all of the items we have in this game. Like we literally have hundreds and I always use the same DIYs, the same items. I really like looking at islands like these because it just goes to show you how many items you can use. I'm definitely indulging in the fact that this is more of like my theme, but if you have a theme in mind, definitely let me know down below so I can share different types of islands with you guys. All right, so we're gonna walk back into the island again and looks like somebody's up here. So cute. I'm actually really surprised at the fact that Stitch's house goes really well with spring core. Really in the theme with all the colors, the yellow, the green, and a pop of red in the door, but not too bright where it's overwhelming at all. On the right side of Stitch's house is this beautiful garden, and I love how playful that little tulip surprise box is right there, just kind of hanging out with the bee houses. And to the left, oh my goodness, you guys, look at this terraforming. I have no words. The overgrown weeds, the hammock, the mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna walk down this way. Let's see what other magic lies ahead. Hi, bunny. <laughs> All right, so we already walked down this way. I'm gonna try to see if I can find another path from here. My goodness, there's another bridge up here that leads into a picnic. I love all their little clusters and collections of items just kind of placed there. All just so unique in their own way. Wow. All the flowers, the tulips, lilies, cosmos layered everywhere. Then over here, they have this amazing, incredible, stunning, beautiful little skinny bridge. Gosh, that view. I'm obsessed. Again, another fork in the road. I'm gonna take a right, because I haven't been to this side, I'm pretty sure. It's a little pond here with some decoy ducks. Looks like this is actually meant to be a tree house. They got some bunk beds layered up with some sunflower coated panels and some of this wooden fencing. I'm gonna walk up this way really quick. And it is massive. I was not expecting this. This is so good. It's packed with codes, a bunch of wooden panels. So beautiful. This tent here on the side is some fruits in a basket and a Cosmo shower, which I wish was actually turned on permanently because that just looks amazing. This yard is definitely just so fitting for Joey. Walk down the stairs. Some more dropped mushrooms, weeds, little dropped flowers, bikes, and that leads us to someone's house. And oh my god, I love these stepping stones that lead you into the house. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the beautiful terraforming this island has? I'm gonna go inside and check it out in here. Hopefully run into some beautiful decorating. <sighs> wow. There's just so much life in here. You got a little bird, little fan, music playing softly in the background, 
and a cup of coffee to relax in and read a book. So it looks like this is their bathroom. Got a little locker room here. Again, in the same color scheme as the rest of the island. This tub is actually pretty underrated. I hardly ever see it being used, but it's so, so great. Little area for brushing their teeth. Taking a poop. <laughs> Taking care of their plants, their products. This is so good. Okay, so this one's their kitchen. Little pops of green everywhere, but I also really like the fact that it's, again, going into a warmer tone, wooden color scheme and accents everywhere. Again, a lot of galleries on their walls and a little candle back there. So much going on, so cozy, and a fresh pie to top it off. Oh my goodness, you guys. This, <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen the rest of the rooms yet, but I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be my favorite room. I've always wanted to do something like this, like layering this um, rock climbing wall inside a room. Definitely going to be doing something like that on my island this time around and I love the seating. It definitely feels like an outdoor patio in here and I love the clothes hanging outside <laughs> in the yard with the little bird. Just to add a little bit of noise in here as if it were actually outside. The fan, the laundry machine, so simple yet so so well done. And upstairs they have Oh, I want to live here. Can that be my bed? The curtains. Oh my goodness. Stale Cupcakes is also playing in here. I love the fact that they're also using their codes in the room. It's a really, really great way of taking advantage and it gives you more rugs to play around with if you want to layer some also. That is such a great idea. I don't think this room is done, but that's okay. Nothing's perfect. just realized I never talked to them out here so I'm just gonna live in the green dream <laughs> that is so cute and then on this side of the path it leads you straight into someone's house I think this is actually Pearl's house another hand cart little watering can on top of that water fountain is also a great little item to place i also just love the water noises it adds into the path as you walk by this laundry area with the hanging clothes the little stacked pillows the stool the bucket i'm definitely one of those people that gets very picky with my outdoor spaces i tend to only want to do like picnics or laundry areas because it just makes sense to have those outside versus like reading nooks and you know that's not for everyone like some people really like having their bookshelves outside but something about possibly having your books rained on just kind of bothers me a little bit <laughs> but that's just a personal preference from this angle that stream kind of looks like it's leading into the ocean all right we're gonna walk down this way this right here this fishing spot i could cry this way it's a lot of stuff going on here all of the overgrown areas and it just doesn't get old it simply makes sense another fallen tree on a path see a little well looking out into this beautiful terraforming it looks like they have the store back there yeah next cranny's back there and this path hits different in like the best way possible. All right, that path leads straight into a little campsite. Very quaint. And I actually really like the fact that it's kind of just on edge here, like by the ocean with the view. I think one of the things that I also struggle with a lot is like knowing what to place at the very end of an island. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like all this pressure of trying to make it as like stuffed with trees as possible to kind of hide the fact that it's ending right there. But honestly, just embracing it is probably the best way to go. Oh, so they have the Abel sisters right near the shop. And it looks so good. Okay, guys, let me let me quickly show this to you guys because it kind of freaks me out, but ah! I hate that. 
that so much. One more time. <laughs> no, no, I don't like it. Can I just say that this is probably the most beautiful nooks cranny entrance that i have ever seen because i feel like nooks cranny is one of those things that can either go really well with your island or just absolutely not work and the way they've like decorated this they've hidden it enough so that it actually kind of blends with the rest of the theme of the island and so i truly just appreciate it so much also one of my favorite things to do is stunting trees and they have done that so well here stunted little bamboo layered with that um, fencing there and then over here they got another little windy path that goes into the beach i have never been so impressed by the way an island transitions into another space it's insane just insanity okay anyway they got a small peninsula but they managed to make it work so well by doing another little picnic and a little fishing spot. More fishing spots. Another one of my favorite things to do is add grass on the beach like this. I actually used to have this path, but I switched it recently and it looks so good here. I'm gonna actually try my best to post the codes down below in case you guys were wondering what any of these are because I have found a lot of these before. So check the description box. But if I forget any, I'm pretty sure most of these are on Discord, so please join our Discord. We do post a ton of codes on there, and that's actually where I get all of my codes from, so go nuts. Let's walk down this way. And I love this area so much. It reminds me so much of Tea Tree because I remember having like a little path just like this on my island and I also had a bunch of clips kind of like surrounding it. I never got to finish it, but it did look really similar to that. And then over here, they have this incredible, I mean, I, I'm just perfection. Again, picnics, kids tent just works perfectly everywhere on this island. I do have another tub there, it looks so beautiful. The umbrella, the log stakes little sand castle. I'm pretty sure I missed something. Okay. Oh yeah, so I didn't walk down this way. Okay. This little river falls into that bottom cliff over there. And then here we have Marty's house, our King Marty. And it looks like he has a little mushroom farm here, which is just great. Everyone gets a garden in this island and I'm not complaining. And then down this way is somebody's house. Wow. That house is amazing. Whose house is that? Silvana's house. Oh my gosh, I had no idea this was Silvana's house. That white crisp with the dark forest green door is, no words, we're walking away. That is beautiful. Then down this path, another pond, a garden wagon, another picnic, little painting area with this little stump as a chair and that leads you into the laundry area that I was gawking at earlier it is so good the terraforming on this island is just absolutely breathtaking I honestly cannot get enough of it I'm in awe I'm obsessed I'm definitely gonna come back here again you guys have to come here please visit I will leave the DA down below and you might have actually already seen it on the map thank you guys so much for being here and looking at this island with me was seriously so so much fun Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I post a new video. It was honestly just amazing to be able to get inspiration from here. Also, please check them out. They have a Twitter. Link down below. Thanks for dreaming with me.